Your chat, what is this? Your boy was just getting ready to jump into the game when I see this thing right here. We gotta check it out. The Living Legacy is coming next week. Celebrate Albion's 6th anniversary with an event and vanity sale. Boys, the anniversary event has been officially announced. Which is very exciting, as I've learned some data mining information that hints at a new mount skin. I'm curious to see if that's the case. Uh, I, I don't know. Again, I didn't read this. So I'm, uh, we're going to be seeing this firsthand right here live on twitch.tv slash Mogdan. You YouTube people should really jump on uh, our stream. We're probably live when you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, all right, let's check this out. Another year has passed. Six years, boys. Six years. And Albion Online is turning six years old. Doesn't time just fly? It does, man. It actually does. Wow, it's impressive. To mark this occasion, next week we will see a double celebration. The return of the Living Legacy event, which I'm curious to see what, the, what that is about, and a two-week vanity sale! Let's go! An opportunity to give money to SBI! Okay, so the Living Legacy is the important event here, that's clear. <laughs> I'm joking. Murderous monuments. Statues gone bad, chat. Statues gone bad. Enough pigeons pooped on them, and they had to put their feet... I mean, they had to just um, uh, smack the table with a fist. Like, hey, enough with the pigeons pooping on us. We are going to poop on the land itself. It feels like only yesterday that the statues of Conqueror's Hall rose up and caused chaos in Albion's open world. Well, once more, these are signs of movement. Soon they will take wake from their slumbers again in the Living Legacy event. This event starts on July 12th. So, uh, five days? Yeah, five days from now, which is huge. Five days? Yeah, five. Actually, wow. Much earlier than I thought. It's 23A... 23... Oh, wait. I was actually worried. I was like, man, that's late. That's really late. A 23 UTC on Albion East and July 13th, so one day later, a 10 a.m. UTC on Albion West. So right when we start our stream, that's great. Um, I was really worried about this timing. And runs for two weeks. So this event will start on July 13th and will end after two weeks. Uh, as was the case last year, monuments of the triumphant guilds of Albion's past will leave their seats in Conqueror's Hall, roaming through tier 5 or higher zones. And in addition to last year's statues, this time there are three new faces with the statues of season 16, 17 and 18's winners joining the party. That is badass, I love this. The statues come in three different levels or of size and difficulty, and can drop va vast riches to those capable of defeating them, such as the Anniversary Mount Skin, let's go, let's go, <laughs> we have a skin, an Anniversary Cake, so the data mining was actually true, which grants a temporary fame buff, that's cool, that's really cool, and the uh, Chroma Cannon, and much more. But such hardened fighters won't give up their loot easily, and you will have to prove your worthiness in combat against them to grab these rewards. Meanwhile, any characters that logs into the game during the event will receive a brand new avatar and avatar ring. This is badass, one of my favorite rings is actually the 5th year anniversary ring, which is great. The Living Legacy event will run until maintenance on July 26th on Albion East and July 27th on Albion West. So join the festivities when they begin next week and make sure you don't miss out. And the anniversary vanity sale, in case you want to buy some cheap skins, which hey, it's a good deal, I mean, depending on how, um, how much they're going to be cut in price. In conclusion, with this event, Monday 10th of July, we will see the start of a special two-week-long vanity sale. Beginning, beginning at 10 a.m. UTC, each day you will see discounts for up to 33% of different vanity bundle or mount skins. These flash deals are exclusive to the Albion Online web shop and in-game store on the native client. So not any, like on the Steam client, you're not going to be able to see this. You got to be uh, worried about this. You got to be careful about this. So not on the Steam page, on the native client and will run for 24 hours before a new one begins, so be sure to check out every day to make sure you don't miss out on any. We are thrilled to mark another action-packed year in Albion, so grab your new vanity sets and head into the battle against the monuments of Albion's past. Boys, I think I'm starting to like the Titan set, because I'm actually gonna look like one of those monuments, which is great. It's either gonna get me ganked, or it's gonna make me feel more badass. I love this! I actually love this! I feel like the game should do more things like this, more open world events and stuff like that. And I wish that this wouldn't be just a yearly thing, but it would be something that can actually happen. Imagine how cool it would be 
that at some point, whenever, during the day, once a week, whenever the devs uh, feel like it would be a good idea, to receive a message. The monuments of the great have risen. And at that moment, you know that the monuments of the Conqueror's Horn, maybe not all of them, maybe just one of them starts roaming around. And you have to go and actually band together with adventurers to kill it. Furthermore, what if those monuments, instead of allowing full loot PvP, they would create a circle around them in which you cannot PvP. Same way you have in the yellow zones a PvP circle whenever you're approaching, let's say, a um, world boss or a chest, you could have the opposite of that, a circle that does not, that disable PvP, that does not allow for PvP. I feel like that would be great and that would cause the players to leave aside their differences and fight for the common good. Because that is a theme that, that is very much explored by uh, MMORPGs. Let's say you have two factions fighting or multiple factions fighting, but then something really bad happens and they have to lay aside their differences, band together to conquer the common evil. This could be one of those things and I would love to see the devs do that and implement those types of events more often. But my friends, my dearest viewers, weary travelers, that is not what this video is about. This video was just to let you know that hey, the official announcement is here. We are getting the anniversary event on July 13th, respectively on July 12th, on the Eastern server and on the Western server. So boys, I hope I see you in the Black Zone roaming for living statues that uh, have gone mad because of pigeon poop, my best guess. So boys, I I'm really curious to see, um, to see how this would work. Uh, what, what do you guys feel about this? Do you think this should be not just a yearly thing, but actually something that happens more often? Or do you think it's fine as it is right now? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, will you be participating in this event? Please also let me know about that also in the comment section down below. Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown. We decided to finally launch Patreon after seeing so many people willing to help us out. So if you want to help us out, if you want to support our content, please consider joining our Patreons by accessing the link in the description down below. It truly helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. We love you all.